It appears that the dust from the August 2022 general election will not be settling anytime soon, months after a new dispensation was put in place. A day after President William Ruto sensationally claimed or a plot to assassinate immediate former IBC chairperson Wafula Chibukati, a counterclaim has emerged this time from an alleged whistleblower reportedly working at the IBC. And the claim is that the elections were rigged and that Milo Odinga was the actual winner. The faceless self-claimed whistleblower has gone farther to provide documents of what he says were the actual results showing Odinga garnered 57.3 percent of the vote ahead of Ruto who had 41.66 percent and as NTV's Ibrahim Karanja reports the new claim is already causing some excitement from Azmio leaders who are now discrediting Ruto's administration and elect to come forward and receive his certificate Goings on at the Bombers of Kenya during the country's August 2022 general election have once again found themselves right at the center of the country's politics. Unconfirmed reports from a faceless alleged whistleblower have now brought to the public different results from those announced by the RABC, stating that William Ruto was not the rightful winner and that, in fact, Raila Odinga clinched the presidency with 57.53% of the votes cast. The whistleblower who claims to be an employee of the electoral agency, alleging that results were altered in favor of Ruto, giving 8,170,355 votes as the number of votes garnered by Odinga against Ruto's 5,915,973 votes, which he says is 41.66% of the total votes cast. Though NTV cannot independently verify the authenticity of the report, the Azimiola Umoja side believes it is true. A casual perusal of the document has some very interesting results. Now this is just a casual one before you even sit and see. What we have seen in one of the, one of the pages is that at one point, 144 constituencies had their results verified. And often at times, those results are far from the results that were announced by IEBC, 144 of them. The Jubilee Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni now says that Azimio will wait for Raila Odinga's return back into the country before they lay out their plans based on the emerging circumstances. The whistleblower is not hiding his identity. This is a research, a study that has been done by a group known as Vanguard Africa, a non-profit organization that partners with pro-democracy leaders across Africa. Meanwhile, President William Ruto has come under criticism following Tuesday's sensational claim that there was a plot to assassinate immediate former IEBC chairperson Wafula Chebukati. Those who spoke to NTV are stating that the president, being the custodian of the instruments of power, should have directed actions to be taken before laying the claims in the public. But the, now we hear there was all this basically treasonous plan because that is treason to plan to interfere with the will of the people of Kenya. Therefore, the president can help this country by addressing it within the constitution, but not on the public platforms. Because you see, the president can't complain to us. He complained to us to help him how. What can we do for him? Because we gave him the power to act. Now he can't turn around. <laughs> and complain <laughs> to the people of Kenya. We can't derob him. Ibrahim Karanja, NTV.